The Humbling of a King, Exploring Daniel Chapter 4 In this video, we'll be exploring Daniel Chapter 4, which tells the story of King Nebuchadnezzar and his journey of humbling and redemption. King Nebuchadnezzar was one of the greatest kings of Babylon, known for his military conquests, his magnificent buildings, and his wealth. However, despite his accomplishments, he was also known for his pride and arrogance. He considered himself to be the greatest king in the world and the master of his destiny. One day, King Nebuchadnezzar had a dream that troubled him greatly. He called on his wise men, magicians, and astrologers to interpret the dream, but none of them were able to do so. In desperation, he called on Daniel, who had already proven himself to be wise and faithful to God. Daniel interpreted the dream, which was a warning to King Nebuchadnezzar that he would lose his power and his mind if he did not acknowledge God's sovereignty and turn from his prideful ways. The dream was of a great tree that grew so tall and strong that it reached the heavens and provided shade for all creatures. But a messenger from heaven came down and ordered that the tree be cut down, leaving only its stump and roots. The messenger explained that the tree represented King Nebuchadnezzar, and that he would lose his kingdom and his sanity if he did not humble himself before God. Despite this warning, King Nebuchadnezzar continued to boast about his accomplishments and power. He built a magnificent palace, known as the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, and declared that it was the most beautiful and impressive building in the world. He also declared that he was the greatest king who had ever lived. As a result of his prideful boasting, King Nebuchadnezzar was struck with a mental illness, and was forced to live like a wild animal in the fields for seven years. During this time, he lost his power, his wealth, and his dignity. He became a beggar, living on the charity of others and eating grass like an animal. But during this time of humiliation, King Nebuchadnezzar began to see the error of his ways. He began to acknowledge the power and sovereignty of God, and to understand that his greatness was only temporary and fleeting. He realized that he had been too proud and arrogant, and that he needed to humble himself before God. After seven years, God restored King Nebuchadnezzar's sanity and his kingdom. He returned to his palace, and he praised God for his mercy and grace. He declared that God was the most powerful and wise being in the universe, and that he was only a humble servant of God. So what can we learn from this chapter of Daniel? Firstly, we see the importance of acknowledging God's sovereignty and power in our lives. King Nebuchadnezzar's downfall was due to his prideful boasting and failure to acknowledge God's authority. Secondly, we see the consequences of pride and the benefits of humility. King Nebuchadnezzar's pride led to his downfall, but his humility and repentance led to his restoration. Thirdly, we see the power of repentance and God's grace. Even though King Nebuchadnezzar had sinned and disobeyed God, he was still able to be restored because of his repentance and God's mercy. Finally, we see the importance of taking heed of God's warnings. Daniel had warned the king about the consequences of his pride, but the king did not take it seriously until he experienced it for himself. In conclusion, Daniel chapter 4 is a powerful story of redemption and humility. It shows us that no matter how powerful we may be, we are still subject to God's authority and sovereignty. It also reminds us that even when we fall into sin, we can always turn to God in repentance and receive His mercy and grace. As we go about our daily lives, let us remember the lessons from King Nebuchadnezzar's story. Let us humble ourselves before God and acknowledge His power and authority in our lives. 
let us also be aware of the dangers of pride and seek to cultivate humility in our hearts. And most importantly, let us always turn to God in repentance and receive His mercy and grace, no matter how far we may have fallen.